welcome back guys so this update is on emily and this is continuation of last episode i posted last night about arian and emily finally meeting after the one year separation and coma drama emily is pregnant and now when arian tries to convince emily to go back with you know him to the Rato family emily refuses and now out of anger arian went back and also declares that he wants to get married to Malini and also um Malini is blackmailing Chini Malini Chini to tell Ariane that she wants both of them to get married and if they don't get married that she will kill Emily so this is Ariane also announcing that she is getting that he is getting married to Malini and then finally Emily returns back after one year to reunite with Chini the family and also probably expose Malini so episode start with Arian Peter confronts Arian from his wrong decision to marry Malini after he announced to them that he is marrying Malini. Soon that takes Emily's name, but Arian furiously informs everyone that she has that he, she has started a new family with a new man Arian thought impregnated, you know, her Namanda Peter and soon that gets shocked by Arian's word when he leaves abruptly saying Emily and him have parted ways forever now. On the other hand, Malini makes Chini choose one necklace for her marriage, while Chini requests a call back Emily. While Chini requests to call to call back Emily, Malini is such Chini, but she points Malini, shivering hands, and accuses her of being afraid of Emily. In the Rato mansion, Nila apologizes for her broken Peter, but she starts bashing herself for being a coward. Peter insults Ariane for marrying evil-minded Malini instead of Emily, and Nila takes her to Malini's house to take revenge on Malini and Anu. Meanwhile, Apita stubbornly declares that she will not let Ariane get married to Malini as she has set Jagu away from her because of Malini. However, Namanda defends him to Sunda and Apita that Ariane cannot handle betrayer and prays for Emily to come back and save all of them. Later on, Malini, in Malini's house, Prita accuses Malini of marrying Ariane while Anu insults Prita and Nila for kicking them out. Furious Malini tells, that, tells them that she has no interest in Ariane and that she is marrying him to keep Ariane away from Emily. However, Malini insults Prita for not being the villain in Ariane and Emily's life as she brought her to Rato Mansion to destroy Ariane and Emily's relationship. On the other hand, Emily reaches the gate of Malini's mansion and stumbles on Nila host Emily and gets happy seeing her baby bomb. Meanwhile, Nila and Peter apologize for their action and tells the truth about Malini being mastermind behind their action. Their action, Nila and Peter promises to support Emily and calls Chini out to assure Emily of their support. Meanwhile, Emily gets shocked when Chini walks out innocently and hugs her. With blank eyes dropping tears of pen, Emily requests Chini to speak like before, but Malini fears has toned Chini down. Meanwhile, Chini apologizes to Emily, and Emily makes fun of Chini's quietness and introduces her to and introduces her to an unborn to their unborn child. Smiling widely after a long time, Chini introduces herself to the baby bomb. After Emily informs Nila and Prita that to fool Malini, they need to make a kind of plan which will make Malini speak the truth herself. On the marriage of Ariane and Malini begins, and Sunda tries to store some time, but Malini furiously refuses. At the same time, Chini talks to Emily from a window and informs her that she needs some more time. Later on, Anu is coming with Vamalas, but Chini demands the Vamilas from her and takes it to Ariane and Malini. Meanwhile, taking the Vamilas, Ariane and Malini are thinking about Emily is gone from their life and is never going to come back. Anu tells Malini to put the Vamila on Ariane, but her dupatta gets stuck on the clothes seat while Chin recalls stamping Malini's dupatta on the clothes. At the same time, people start to arrive for the event which shock Malini as she have not invited anybody. The police officer Juela, Chini, kidnapper and the school cook congratulates Malini for her marriage sarcastically and discloses every evil plan of hers to start to roam around her. Malini holds her ears and gets frustrated, and Arian tries to stop her, but Furious Malini retorts to them that they didn't. But Furious Malini retorts to them that they didn't do their work correctly. Meanwhile, Malini furiously says to the truck driver that Emily must have been dead if he has done his work correctly. Hearing Malini's word, Arian gets shocked and confronts Malini, but Nila and Prita interrupt him. And Prita informs Arian about people being Emily's guests and informs him that they are the ones who have given all the contacts of the people. Malini gets furious why Arian asks for Emily and she reveals herself out of hiding. Arian takes those steps towards Emily and both Arian and Emily's eyes are filled with guilt and sadness. 
Meanwhile, Imi shows her gratitude to her guests and sends them home. Just then, Imi demands Chini to go to her room, but Chini exclaims that Kalima has tortured her for so long and now she wants to see Malini get beaten by Emily. However, Imi scolds Chini and sends her to the room and accuses Malini of leaving Chini in the basement. Malini confronts Emily to show evidence of her evil plan and her eyes filled with tears of frustration. Afterward, Emily instigates Malini by narrating to her the evil plans that she have done until now, while the Rato family and Ariane get shocked. Furious Malini screams at Emily to stop crying and walks towards her while, try while being scared. Emily stumbles and Ariane holds her close to his chest. Later, Malini laughs crazily at Emily and Ariane and calls them big fools. So guys, this is the update. Next episode will now be properly Malini gets kicked out after she got exposed and she also has a lot of confession to do. I will see you guys next time and bye guys.